God is real. My dreams are becoming a reality. I don't care how much the headset costs. I will be getting this game when it releases. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today I have the most groundbreaking and exciting news to share with you guys. I have to get this out of my system because I am just so unbelievably stoked for this when it becomes a reality. If it becomes a reality, to like support this 100%. SAO is going to be a legit real thing and no this is not a drill I know you've heard it before on the internet where people are like oh SAO you know virtual reality it's gonna be a thing check out this video game check out this video game and you've seen virtual reality video games in Oculus Rift and stuff like this but this is not a drill this is 100% controlled by your body and actually in a MMORPG game in virtual reality 3D scanned avatars, 100% legitest thing of SAO I've ever heard in my life. So if you're wondering what the project I'm talking about is, I'm talking about Sword Art Online The Beginning. So Sword Art Online The Beginning is an IBM sponsored concept VR MMO video game that is actually based on the original anime Sword Art Online. So IBM plans to use their conjugative computer tech and soft layer technology to bring virtual reality to a whole new level. And the whole coolest thing about this is that you can actually apply to be an alpha tester of the video game, which is the sickest thing I have ever heard and probably the also the most worrying thing I've ever heard because many people died in the real SAO. So 208 alpha testers will be selected through applications through their website and they actual program will be running from March 18th through the 20th. If you want to apply to be an alpha tester, I'm just going to put this out now because I've seen multiple posts where people didn't mention this and I was pretty sad when I found out. You have to be at least 18 years or older and you also have to be a legal resident of Japan. So for those of us not in Japan, like myself, we're missing out in the moment, probably the best moment of our lives. So if you fit the qualifications where you live in Japan and you're 18 years or older and you want to apply, I'll leave the actual website and the actual application in the description down below. And you can still apply until March 4th of 2016. So go ahead and do that if you're really excited and want to give this a go. So you're probably wondering what makes this stand out differently from the Oculus Rift and other virtual reality MMO games that have been released. Well, the whole idea is that you'll be using your body as the controller and I'm going to explain this real quick. As far as information goes on how the controlling system works, I haven't been able to dig up any further information on how they plan to make full body controls. If you guys have any information on this or you found an article like this similar, leave it in the comment section below. I'll make sure I bump it to the top or leave it in my description of the video so other people can find this information. So how this goes down is participants are actually going to be wearing virtual reality headsets and then they are going to be computerly scanned into 3D avatars and pretty much inserted into the game. So instead of using traditional mouse pads and game pads, they'll be controlling the game with their body. Of course, I don't know exactly how and there is no information on how this will be processing, but as the game further continues and this development continues, I figure more information will be released, especially after the alpha testers come back out. So I thought, what better way to show off this groundbreaking news than, of course, showing off my own sword-wielding skills. Enjoy having fun making fun of me. You're focus, right? <laughs> Banana! <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> I actually cut the banana open! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work! <laughs> That's a nice clear cut! So yeah, that's everything about the actual game and the information I know. If you guys have any new information, leave it in the comment section down below because I'm really interested in seeing this go further and hopefully game development will continue. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below because this has always been a really heated debate within the SAO fandom in terms of the idea of making a real life SEO game. Is it actually safe? Is it dangerous? Are we breaking boundaries that we really shouldn't? Is that what the whole uh, anime series was trying to warn us not to get this far into technology? 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any friends that think would really love to know this information, give this video a share. Let them know. Get them informed so, you know, we have this huge thing going on and maybe it'll further development because of interest. I'm sorry to any of my subscribers who are not new to my channel and are probably a little bit confused to why I posted this video. Um, I'm going through a little bit rough patch of writer's block so that's why this video is late and there hasn't been really any like super amazing content. I have a lot of videos planned but I'm having writer block issues on making them a reality. I don't know how to explain that. YouTube robbed. YouTube robbed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next Tuesday with another video. After that, we're going to jump into the eye makeup so I'm priming my eyes to begin with because I have really oily lids. And then I eat so much. I'm constantly like running a bath and I think everybody just needs to try Lush bath bombs if you haven't already. Lush products are really amazing. They're all handmade. 